Hi there, fancy friends, it's Oliver and today it's all about our beloved uh, source for frost fencing by Paul Riscazzi. As you may know, I learned Bastone Genovese from my Paoli and um, this is a traditional martial art from Genoa. Why did I tell you? Because this is the reason I um, fence according to Paolo Descalzi's Scuola della Spada. As in Hima ist, it took not much time um, and I was looking for fencing treatises um, of Genoa. And uh, the first I found was Paolo Descalzi's book of the straight sword uh, from the 19th century. Descalzi may or may not be the best fencing master and his system may or may be not the best system of its time, but um, I love it um, very much and my students too, not at least um, because of its method uh, to teach. The whole book is written in master student lessons. It contains hundreds of them and um, we are doing them for years now and still don't have finished it yet. The system itself is written after the French left northern Italy and uh, many fencing masters uh, wanted to go back to the uh, true Italian roots of fencing, so Discalzi did it too. But uh, to be honest, um, whether he refers to Rosa Roland Cresetti, um, there is some French left in its system. But if you lay some pictures um, of the guardias next to each other, you totally see the connection. Because it's Italian, uh, we mostly use Italian foils to practice, um, not at least because the source tells us to use a fioletto. But it also shows some nice spade too. And um, I don't know if I could call it uh, a pied de combat, just because it's uh, mid 19th century. Um, in some place the blades are very long, so you could call it a very late transitional rapier. Um, and in fact someone would call it a small sword too, but in Italy they are a little bit different. So we also use these um, customized training tools just to uh, fit the actually uh, weapon a little bit better. These are from uh, Age of Armory. We just cut off the bell here and uh, the columns about here. And if you see, this uh, fits the images very well. And we also use uh, long musketeer blades to simulate the longer blades and uh, as well as heavier blades um, for something like a spadroon or an officer sword. And sometimes we use a foil guard just to simulate a proper Italian small sword. You see, there are many possibilities and that's good because every um, variation of this sword features another aspect of the system. So if it's light, um, the, you would more use finta and controcavazione and um, if it's got heavier or longer, um, there are more binding actions which uh, comes into play. One of my students uh, likes to call it a Frankenstein Degen uh, after the famous monster. Yeah. Also, um, in the book there are plates which shows an Albertina model, uh, which is a sword right behind me. The system itself ignores the Albertina, but um, if you see this is more or less a uh, French hilted straight sword with a little ring for the fingers which uh, fits the uh, method very well we would grip Italian foil. Surprise! So, what uh, could you expect? Um, we will take you on a journey uh, through all the lessons Descalzi wants us to do and we will do it in the long run, step by step. So I hope you will like it and um, yeah, see you in the next video.